I am Natalia Matito Mercado, formerly known to Edgar as Natalia Caspi Octaviano, a classmate for more than 50 years ago. It is of great sadness as we celebrate the life of Edgar. We all know that he had fought a great battle. I had a very high hopes that he will win the battle, but it's God's will that he has to go. God doesn't want Edgar to suffer any longer. Indeed, the devastating loss had shaken most of us, and it may take quite some time, especially for his wife and family, to fully recover from this loss. To Eileen, let me tell you, I fully understand the pain that you are going through. I have been there several times in the past, but I tell you, there is no enough words, there is not enough words to ease your pain, but I can assure you that time would heal. Let's try to rekindle the hope of better tomorrow that Edgar had inspired in all of us. He had taught so many lives, especially for our classmates whom he had gotten very close to. He was very smart, intelligent, in the top five of our class. We like by our classmates, very giving and helpful to them. Indeed, Madam, I have heard that some of them would even run to him to ask help with their assignments. I bid goodbye to you, my dear classmates. As you go, remember that we in class 63 will be praying for you. I trust that our good Lord will have an open arms to welcome you to a place where you have eternal peace and happiness. May your soul rest in peace. Thank you. John 14 verse 16 Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We need not fear the chilling shadow of death if we had acknowledged Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. By then, you face tomorrow's terror with courage and be assured of eternity in heaven. Home sweet home, my dear classmate, Edgar. With deepest Sympathy to the family of Edgar Tobilla. I was saddened to hear that my classmate passed away. No words can describe how sorry I am for your loss, and someone special to me can never be forgotten. We pray that your heart and soul will find peace and comfort during this difficult time. We don't know how painful it is, but we wish our sincerest condolences. Words fall short of expressing my sorrow and condolences. To my beloved dear classmate Edgar Tubilla, may you rest in peace in Jesus' name. Amen. I mourn the loss of Edgar. I miss the time when I stayed only for two years of our high school. I remember the time when we had our gardening and our family names start with letter T's. So we decided ourselves that when we got picked or gathered our vegetables, we shared our bounty. Para maging marami ang naharvest namin, we made it every three weeks na magpalitan kami ng aming nakukuha. Edgar and I are related. Our grandparents were so close with each other, except my mother and his aunt, who were not in good relationship. But we had titos who were good to nanay. But for us, we were not bothered. I wish him eternal rest in peace. From Pit Nono Tabao.
Edgar led a happy and fulfilled life, knowing that he is not immortal. He was an athlete who excelled in basketball, soccer, football, and lawn tennis. He was a sportsman, a trainer, a spender, and a drinker. During our late 40s and early 50s, we used to say, if you beat Marvel Villarga in drinking beer, you must be a drunkard. If you beat Edgar in drinking whiskey, you must be an alcoholic. If you beat Max Manaay in drinking brandy, you must be an addict. His passing made Class 63 of Kabatuan High School lose a talented classmate. The Tuvilla siblings lost a good brother. Bumbi lost a supportive and forgiving tatay. Aileen lost a handsome husband. The time has come that Edgar's path and our path will no longer cross. With him as my compare, Barcada, drinking buddy, and partner in misdemeanor, I could not have asked for more. Farewell, my best friend. Goodbye, my brother. May you rest in peace. From Mike Tabares. Nakakalungkot kapag may tao na mawala sa ating buhay, lalo na kung malapit kayo sa isa't isa. What I mean ay si Edgar Tuvilla, our classmate who passed away. Nakakalungkot isipin kasi siya ay very close friend, relative, and kinakapatid ko pa. Naaalala ko pa, Noong maliit pa kami ay magkasama kami ng mga kapatid niya na tutulog sa lumang bahay nila dati at lagi kaming naglalaro. Kung magpunta din sila sa ingas, nag-enjoy din kami maglaro doon at ganyan ang buhay namin noon. Naging classmate kami mula grade 6 until matapos ang high school. Then pagkatapos ng college, Matagal na kaming hiwalay at malayo sa isa't isa dahil sa trabaho. Noong golden reunion natin, nagkita uli kami at kasama ang mga classmates natin nag-enjoy tayo lahat. Pero kulang na kasi may mga nauna nang kinuha ni Lord. Parang kailan lang at napakadali ng panahon na lumipas. Ganyan din talaga ang buhay da Dahil dyan din tayo pupunta lahat at nauna lang si Edgar na kinuha ni Lord. Presently, I'm here in Katipunan, Zamboanga del Norte, at gustuhin kung paman umuwi dyan sa Kabatuan. Hindi man pwede because of the pandemic. We will just pray for his soul and he will be happy in his new life in heaven. Mahal ka namin, Edgar, at mamimiss ka namin pag nag-reunion uli mga classmates natin. God bless. From Bernardo Marcon I cannot forget Edgar. After class one day when we were in high school, he overheard a classmate demeaning me. Daw sisin o kagid, imolgid lang kamo pay. Before I could pay back the same coin, Edgar interrupted and said to my detractor, Hindi man pagpakunubua sini siya, hindi siya pagawaya. Edgar, thank you for the values you had taught us. Claim your reward in heaven. We will miss you, but we will never forget you. From Junicia Morales, Cordoba.
I was a naive young boy from Barangay Gaob when I first met Pare Edgar. Nanay enrolled me at Kabatuan Central Elementary School where I brushed elbows with kids my age. A clear picture of him as a good-looking little boy, a cute mestizo, comes rushing back to me now. Being a new kid in town did not deter me from becoming friends with him. Wherever he was, I was there, and vice versa. He was like a brother to me. We enjoyed each other's company. We both loved sports, football, basketball. We often talked about it. We grew up together from childhood to adolescence to adulthood. We had been through good times, drinking included, and bad times. Luckily, we belonged to the same group till secondary school. At this stage, our skills in sports were harnessed. We both belonged to the Kabatuan basketball team, joining competitions in neighboring towns and elsewhere. We shared victory or defeat. I noticed though he was particularly interested in tennis and posted the skill. After graduation in high school, we pursued different careers and lived the lives we chose. Nevertheless, we kept in touch during family gatherings and on occasions when we met with former classmates, sharing happy memories which haunt our hearts and souls. In late year 1992, Kabat 1 2000 was organized and we were members. One of its objectives was to com promote sports awareness among young people. At this point in the vision to construct a tennis court was realized made possible through Kabatuan 2000 members effort to mention my compare at the forefront. He often played tennis with skill while I stayed at the sidelines. This still stands today for the present and future generations to make use of. Pare, you have done your part. The Almighty has bestowed on you. I am sure you are happy where you are now. Till we meet again. From Maximo Manaay. You are in my thoughts and prayers. May God bless you. From Purita Pueyo, Bilbao. Mayong hapon sa tanan. Ako si Marvel Villarga. Kag-classmate kami ni Edgar Halin Elementary as the high school. In 1970s, we were both employed by Pasi Sugar Central in Pasi, for which Edgar was assigned at Fabrication Department while I was with the Accounting Department. We were also roommates in a boarding school for which we got more acquainted knowing our likes and dislikes. Edgar is a good man, handsome and generous. The only drawback I knew was that Edgar was hard to get by chicks. However, I was really happy that Edgar was able to win the heart of Eileen to become his wife. Now that you're gone, sorrow fills our hearts this sad moment. 
As what I know, he was instrumental in the setup and construction of Cabatuan Lawn Tennis, so he solicited my share. Edgar was a visionary who was innovative, creative, and gave us expertise and skills. We thank you, Edgar, for those years of friendship, and we will always remember you, my friend. Good afternoon to all. May I extend my heartfelt sorrow to the bereaved family of Mr. Edgardo Tuvilla, my compadre. I am deeply saddened by the unexpected news about the early demise of my pare Edgar. It was such extremely distressing. Pare Edgar Way back in our teenage days, I remember, we played football during our free time and oftentimes on weekends. We were very close to each other. We used to go to school together and we were seatmates. He used to assist and help us in doing our assignments and even during our examination. Because of this closeness, I made him to be the maninoy of my second child, Jude Anthony, now a nurse and a doctor working in Dublin, Ireland. We lost a great friend. His kind face remains forever in our image. I cannot believe you are no longer with us, but I have to believe that God has bigger plans for you. I will surely miss the presence of a truly kind-hearted person. May God give him eternal rest and the family the strength to bear the great pain. To Kumari Island, no one can prepare you for a loss. It comes like swift wind. But take comfort in knowing that he is now resting in the arms of our Lord. On behalf of my family, our sincere sympathy to you and your family. Again, good afternoon to everyone.